Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> <laughs> we are headed to El Capitan. Cabin, yes. And we have stayed there a couple of times yeah. and really have enjoyed it. Beautiful but nice. we really like their breakfast. It's so beautiful. we are headed there to eat breakfast and talk to you about some things that are on our heart. Peace. I thought I would get that in there. That's it's a very right. peaceful place. Very peaceful place. That's right. And then after that, we are headed to Refugio Beach. Yes. Which will be our next episode next Wednesday. And it's a beautiful beach. Yes, it is. You, you're painting a, a, I am. a oil painting. I am. It's yes. taking me a while to yes. get it done. Yeah. But it is so beautiful there. And so, yes, this oil painting is hopefully going to be over our couch. Someday, if I can get it done. Well, we're and going there, so. Yes, so you'll see it. It's a, it's a beautiful cliff yeah. with palm trees. And yeah, it's so, gorgeous. anyways, we're excited to take you to both of these places. Yes. And yeah. we're going to talk about peace, which we all need peace right now yeah, in this we do. chaos. Big time, big time. Uh, yeah. People with their minds yeah. set on you. You keep completely whole, the whole word is for Shalom, steady on their feet because they keep at it and don't quit. Depend on God and keep at it because in the Lord you have a sure thing. So set your mind on Him. Yes, your mind. That's what I want to talk mm. about right now because there could be chaos in your mind and that is uh, negative thoughts, things coming at your mind like you're not going to make it, yeah. Uh, yeah. maybe whether or not you're going to be able to pay your mortgage, uh, just all kinds of things. And you can wake up one morning and even this morning, I had chaos in my mind. But what does the scripture say about that? And we need to make sure that we come back to scripture and take time to go, uh-uh, no. You need to tell your mind, no, that's not okay. Yeah, a, lot of t a lot of people don't realize you can tell your mind, no, I'm not going to think on those things. Be anxious for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to God, and the peace yeah. of God, yeah. which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. That breakfast was so yummy. It was so good. <laughs> Yay, I'm feeling really I'm full. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Peace. Peace. We Lots have of peace, peace in our tummy. <laughs> good food. They make good food out here, and it's only 20 minutes away from Santa Barbara. It's just good to get away yeah. uh, once in a while and spend some time together. Yeah. You know, in talking about peace, and you can have peace through your chaos. Having peace in troubled times is so important to teach yes. and know that it's possible. Mm -hmm. If Jesus walked on this earth, 5,000 people he's feeding, you know, going to the cross, everything he suffered for us, yes. and yet he had peace through the whole thing. Mm -hmm. It's interesting, you know, in Isaiah 9, 6, talks about the coming of the baby Jesus, yeah. and he said that he was gonna be the prince of peace. Mm. You know, in John 14, 27, Jesus said, my peace, I leave with you. My peace, yes. I give to you. And then the, the Passion Translation says, I leave you the gift of peace with you. Mm. My peace, not the kind of fragile peace given by the world, but my perfect peace. Don't yield to fear or be troubled in your hearts. Instead, be courageous. Oh, and I think good. that's so important. Yes. Lots of stuff going on be around courageous. here. Too. But we want to also <laughs> um, thank um, so much our Patreon crew. Our viewers are going to take a quick yes. 10 seconds here. Uh, thank you to our Patreon viewers and givers. Um, if you know anything about it, just follow the links below. Through the month of October 2020, we're going to be giving away to you, the new, new that sign up, and those that are on our Patreon, a copy of the Lake of Fire. Yes. So we're going to give that to you. If you are way out, like in the Siberia or, or in India or a lot of other countries, we can have your email address. We will send you a PDF compact copy. Uh, by electronic mail so that you're able to watch that. So thank you so much. A little plug yes. there. And thank you so much for giving into us, Patreon. So you know David's book, The Lake of Fire, that just came out, yeah. 
we will give that to anyone who signs up and becomes a member because yeah. we really appreciate you partnering with us yeah. and we can't do this without you yeah. so we really appreciate that thank you so much yes. so going on with peace having peace through your chaos mm -hmm. in the business world my mentor Karen uh, McKibben she was an incredible mentor and leader taught me so much about leadership she used to always teach in the middle of a chaotic business day thousands of customers thousands of of sales 50 people in your team problems 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 in the middle of chaos in your business day you can always find peace and to take that time to find that peace and rest as you go through your day so it's interesting that this world that we live in right now is going under so much Wow, whatever country you're in you probably heard about what's happening in America in England there's a lot of other but you, you know there's a lot of chaos going on in the world but Jesus said we can have peace through all that chaos. Yes, that's right. And I like Psalm 34, 14, David, King David knew a lot about peace. Listen to this. Turn away from evil, do good, seek peace and go after it. Seek peace and go after it. That's that good. means peace is active, peace is alive. Mm -hmm. I like the New Living Translation. Turn away from evil and do good. Search for peace and work to maintain that peace. Oh, that's good. It's very good. You know, Isaiah 26, 3 and 4 is probably one of my main go-to scriptures that I read pretty much every day. Not all, not every day, but I would have to say a lot. It's this, and I'll read two different versions here. Father, you will keep him or keep me in perfect peace. And that peace there is shalom, the word shalom. You will keep me or keep me or keep you in perfect peace whose mind is stayed on you because he, me, you trusts in you. Yes, and you're ready to go for it. Let me say the message real quick. <laughs> uh, yeah. People with their minds yes. set on you, you keep completely whole. That whole word is for shalom. Steady on their feet because they keep at it and don't quit. Depend on God and keep at it because in the Lord you have a sure thing. So set your mind on Him. Yes, your mind. That's what I want to talk mm, about right mm, now because mm. there could be chaos in your mind. And that is uh, negative thoughts, things coming at your mind like you're not going to make it. Yeah, uh, yeah. Maybe whether or not you're going to be able to pay your mortgage, uh, just all kinds of things. And you can wake up one morning and even this morning, I had chaos in my mind. <laughs> but what does the scripture say about that? And we need to make sure that we come back to scripture mm -hmm. and take time to go, uh-uh, no, you need to tell your mind no, that's not okay. A lot, of t a lot of people don't realize you can tell your mind, no, I'm not going to think on those things. And the scripture, you know, we had this scripture not too long ago and one that we talked about, Philippians 4, and I'm going to start at verse 6 because this goes right along with what we're talking about, mm -hmm. about peace. Be anxious for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to God. And yeah. the peace yeah. of God, yeah. which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. Mm. So the peace of God. But here's what I wanted to get at that we had talked about recently. Verse 8. Finally, brethren, whatever things are true, mm whatever things are noble, yeah. whatever things are just, whatever yeah. things are pure, whatever things are lovely, whatever things are of a good report. Yeah. If there be any virtue and if there be anything praiseworthy, meditate or think, mm -hmm. meditate means thinking, mm -hmm. meditate on these things. Mm -hmm. So it's important to keep your mind yeah. in perfect peace by mm -hmm. meditating on the Word of God meditating on what God says about your situation, mm -hmm. not what the world says. It's really important, you know, when we start off saying Jesus, of course, is the Prince of Peace. And he said, I give you my peace. Well, listen to Colossians 3.15, because it talks, this talks about peace, which is kind of wrapping the whole thing up we're talking yes. about right now. Colossians 3.15 says, let the peace that Christ gives control your thinking. Hello. It is for peace that you were chosen to be together in one body and always be thankful. 
Let the peace of Christ、mm. give s control your thinking. That's、yeah. pretty incredible. It's good. Wow.、That's、so、good. you can have peace in the middle of chaos. You know,、yeah. the world will say, no, you can't. You can't. You can't have peace. But you can. Anytime you go into prayer, and next week we're going to be talking about Esther,、yeah. she had peace to do some big Major, things. Major big things that God had、But、for her. Through me, I know when I get really, when I, when, that, when I come to a point where I need to get into prayer, a lot of people will just go, ah. But you need to recognize when you need to get with the Lord and talk to Him. Yeah. Talk it out with Him.、Yeah. You're talking on the phone too much, you're talking, telling everybody else.、Yeah. Tell the Lord、talk、because the He Lord has the answers.、Yes. He will leave you with peace. He will leave you with wisdom. He will leave、Amen. you with strength. He will leave you refreshed.、Yes. But I think the problem is so many people, they're like on the phone, hey, Aunt Margul, or Margul, that's cool, man. <laughs> Aunt Margul, what's, what's happening? You know, or, or <laughs> you know, that person. They're probably going to、yeah. give you peace. They're going to go right along with you and discuss the situation and talk bad. And, But yeah. and, and, God know, gives you peace. I, I, if, if someone hurts me really bad,、yeah. I don't go after them.、Yeah. I don't tell all my friends. What I do is I go to God and I said, Lord, they really hurt me. But I know, I know, Lord, that you want me to forgive them.、Yeah. And I want you to forgive them. They didn't know any better.、Yeah. But I take it to the Lord. Yeah. You know? And, and when you take it、mm-hmm. to the Lord, you can, you can go, I just tell them what for and tell them everything <laughs> while you're frustrated. Yeah, big time. You just go for it. He I mean, loves that. He He's your dad. He wants to hear from you. And he, he,、yeah. Then you need to take time and、yeah. be silent and、yeah. just be still、yeah. with the Lord、yeah. and let Him give you the peace、yeah. that passes all understanding. It will keep your heart and your mind stayed on Him. But you've got to take that time.、Yeah. Here, you can talk to Him, but make sure that you take the time to be ready to listen. And so, you know, so many people, because it, you, He's not really speaking back to you in an audible voice. You're like, what are you talking about? God speaks to you? Yes,、mm-hmm. He will speak to you, but、yeah. it's down on the inside. It's on the inside of your heart. You will just know. You'll just have a knowing that He is helping you through that situation. And He can give you wisdom, too, on how to handle it. Whatever situation it is that you're going through. There's some good crow friends out here hanging out. <laughs> Amen. Um, but yeah,、uh, you know, God's so good. Those that wait upon the Lord shall be renewed, they'll be strengthened. Yes. Talk, that's the peace we're looking for. Yes. Not as the world gives, the world does not give the peace Jesus Christ can give us.、Amen. So that's, that's good for yes, today. Well, I mean, let's it's pray. Okay. Let's pray for him. All right. Father, we just thank、yes. you for all of all, everyone who's watching、thank、or you, listening、Lord. to shalom, this broadcast. Shalom, shalom. Yes. Father, we just thank you that you surround them with your peace. You give them a big spiritual hug of peace and refreshing and strength. Thank you for them, Father. Thank you thank that you. whatever they're going through, yeah, you're, they're going to make it through because they have you.、Yes. Greater is he that's on the inside of them、Amen. than he that's in the world. You're、that's、on the、right. inside. Peace is on the inside.、That's、we just、right. have to listen to you, Father. And、oh, we're never going to regret it.、Yes. We are never going to regret getting、That's、with、right. you. Father, thank you for their lives.、Yes. Thank you for giving them answers, strength, peace, and life. In Jesus' name. Jesus' Amen. name. Hallelujah.、Boy. What a good day.、Oh. Boy, it's peaceful out here. And、it、we're、really、just、is. so grateful to be with you today.、Yes. And so next, we are going to Refugio Beach. Whoop, 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 whoop. And next Wednesday, you'll see us there.、Yeah. And we're excited to talk to you more about this. And Refugio Beach is an incredible. It's beautiful.、Beach. It's absolutely beautiful. Yes. So we're excited to show that to you. Yeah. So, hey, let's end this for the kingdom on the count of three because everything you do, you love the Lord so much.、Amen. And everything you do, you do for Him.、Yes. And we do too. So we're in this together on the count of three. One, two, three. For, for the, the kingdom. kingdom. God bless you.